in this lecture we are going to learn about what is known as quadratic probing so it's again a strategy for collision resolution in hashing or a hash table so collisions are a big problem in hash table because the number of elements that you insert if it's greater than the hash table size so there will be collisions okay so how we can handle collisions so we have what is known as closed hashing okay so we will just look with some examples what i am saying okay so in closed hashing what we do if some collision occurs we try out alternate cells until we get some for insertion we get some space okay so let's try out so what are those alternate cells how we try so initially we just said that we have a hash function and hash of x wherever we get okay so this cell will be where i will put that element okay hash of x but what happens if some element is already there at the cell number hash of x in that case we will try out another cell okay so let's look here so this is the hash table okay this is our hash table and we have some initially we used hash of x is x mod of 10 and so we said that okay if we have numbers 3 5 13 and 24 33 what will happen here is that 3 will come here then your 13 will also get hashed here with this hash function x mod 10 and 33 will add here so if we used kind of a open hashing okay so we would make it here a link list so 3 13 and 33 so that was open hashing but this we saw that it required some extra data structure that was linked list so we did not prefer that okay so what we do is that we now have closed hashing okay so this closed hashing it means that in fact you see so 5 comes here and 24 comes here so this has only 5 elements we inserted we have 10 cells okay and still lot of them are empty so the closed hashing basically says that okay keep on hashing okay still we find some alternate cells so if I have 3 here already and when 13 comes so I will not insert it here okay I will try to put it at some alternate location and what will be that alternate location so it will be given by that hix will be hash of x plus some function this is the closed hashing system and here what you do so if we tried out fi is a function okay and we are now using quadratic probing so for quadratic probing we try to probe where is the next empty cell where i can put it so f of i is equal to i square so hence your hix becomes hash of x plus i square and here we use i square because in linear probing basically there was a problem of clustering okay so clustering effect was there so now what we do we try to let's try to see with example for quadratic probing and then we will understand so how should i remove these so let's delete a few things from here from the table and now let's see how we write uh, so this color i will choose so it will not write properly red is fine so when i insert three and let's say okay something like this 45 54 these are the things we want to insert so three if i insert so i will have a hash function h i of x is h of x plus f of i mod table size so which is 10 so now h of x was also x mod of 10 okay 
so what will happen now when I insert 3 so 3 plus f of 0 is 0 so 3 plus f of 0 which is 0 mod of 10 this will be 3 so 3 is inserted here then we have for 5 also h of 5 h 0 5 is 5 plus 0 mod of 10 so it's 5 it comes here now let's try to see for 13 so 13 what happens if we try h 0 13 it will be 13 modulo 10 h of x will be 13 modulo 10 so 3 plus f of 0 percentage 10 so it will be 3 but we see that okay 3 is already occupied so we now try alternate location for h 13 so i is equal to 1 so this will be h of h of x is 3 plus 1 square okay percentage 10 so this is 4 percentage 10 so 4 so i will put 13 here okay so next what will happen we have 24 so 24 h 0 of 24 will be 4 plus 0 modulo 10 so it is 4 but 4 is already occupied now so h1 of 24 will be 4 plus 1 square so 5 modulo 10 so 5 is also occupied so another collision so h2 of 24 is so 24 modulo 10 4 plus 2 square okay percentage 10 so 4 plus 4 8 modulo 10 so it will come here so 24 will come here then what will happen your 33 so 33 modulo 10 h0 what will happen here h 0 33 will be 3 plus 0 modulo 10 so it's 3 but 3 there is a collision h1 33 is again 3 plus 1 4 4 is occupied so h2 33 will be 3 plus 2 square so 4 modulo 10 so it's 7 7 is still empty so 33 will come here then you have to do 33 is then h45 okay so 45 h0 of 45 is 45 modulo 10 so 5 plus 0 so 5 will be the first place it's already occupied h1 45 is 5 plus 1 square modulo 10 so 6 and it will come here so now you can see that there is not a clustering effect because it's adding 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square kind of thing and it's better than your linear probing okay because in linear probing we were just with wrap around we were finding which is the next empty cell we keep it there so it was basically at 3 if we put 33 then it will occupy the next cell 43 will occupy next cell with two collisions and so on okay so it was not that good so but quadratic probing makes lot of holes and it fills the hash table so there will be lesser collisions okay so this is the quadratic probing i hope you understand this so thanks a lot